Well, it's a big issue here in western Pennsylvania. If you look back to 2016, Donald Trump won this state by a little bit more than 40,000 votes. A lot of those votes came from this place, Lucerne County, and uh, really took him over the top. Now, if you look at the latest RCP, Real Clear Politics Average, you have Joe Biden up about 4.7. Uh, but again, some of those polls in there were taken at or before the conventions. We're back here in Exeter to talk about what people in Pennsylvania are thinking about this election. Joining us, Dylan Fearon from Fox 56 in Wilkes-Barre and Bob Kalinowski. He's of the Citizen's Voice newspaper, also in Wilkes-Barre. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank you, Brett. All right, Dylan, let me ask you, what do people care about here? We heard the vice president hitting on some, some themes. What about the voters? Well, you see the signs out there, jobs, jobs, jobs. They care about working. They care about energy, manufacturing, fracking. These people here, and we're in the community. We're, we see them at grocery stores. We see them out in the community. We tell their stories. They roll their sleeves up. They want to work hard. They want to put food on the tables for their families. So jobs would be the number one priority for the voters here. I, I talked to Democrats today who said they think that this area is going Trump, and they have even Democratic friends who say they don't say that they're voting for Trump. But they are. Did you see that? Right. In 2016, I think it almost, you saw it coming a mile away that there was a groundswell of support um, from people here for Trump. Um, a lot of conservative Democrats who are persuadable. Yeah. So does that really translate? Is there a hidden Trump voter here? Absolutely. I mean, you look at Luzerne County, which was blue for a while and then swings to red for President Trump in 2016. And then you look at Lackawanna County just across the border went to Hillary Clinton last time in 2016. It's going to be very close. You said 40,000 votes in 2016. That's 0.7%. That was the narrowest margin in about 170 years or so since the 1800s. It's going to be very, very close. Energy, rate. though, plays as an issue? That's all I was just going to say. This area was a big coal mining area. My grandfather from a town 15 minutes away, Nanny Cook, was a coal miner. That built modern America, the coal mines of this region. Once the coal barons left and the industry collapsed, a lot of people no longer trusted politicians to bring the economy back. And for some reason, the people around here felt like they could just relate to Trump and they gave him a chance. I don't know if they're going to do it again. So, I mean, you guys are watching it, uh, but this thing, you're going to see a lot of candidates come in and out of here, right? And we already have. I mean, think about it. Joe Biden was here in Dunmore, Lackawanna County a couple of months ago. We saw President Trump in Old Forge right outside Scranton a couple of weeks ago. Vice President Penn shows up today. We're seeing the candidates already. We're going to see them again uh, until November for sure. Well, guys, you're going to see us again. So uh, right. thanks a lot for having us. We appreciate and it. we'll bring you back on. It's been an honor. Thank okay, you. Absolutely. Thank you, thanks. Guys. When we come back, a most unusual 5K. And as we go to break, the final Pennsylvania resident we spoke to owns a restaurant in this area. Very common for candidates to stop by.